Few people know about the urban bats roosting at Arizona State University on the Tempe campus. For years, FACMAN Ground Services Arboretum has been rescuing bats from campus buildings. Bats that accidentally get trapped inside university buildings fall under the FACMAN's pest control category. However, the bats roosting on campus are not pests. These bats are an important part of ASU's Sustainable Integrated Pest Management Program. Campus bats provide a valuable service by consuming flying insect pests on campus, including the mosquitoes that carry West Nile disease. Ground Services started a Bat Watch internship program with the School of Life Sciences to survey bat roosts on campus. After conducting night surveys on campus at different structures from 2009 through 2011, eight different bat roost sites were identified. Bats were active in the roof of the Tempe Town Center building from January until mid-March. At the Interdisciplinary B building, bats used the cement ceiling expansion joint at the third floor elevator landing. At the Education Lecture Hall, bats occupied the vertical crack in the cement facade on the northwest corner of the building. Bats were recorded roosting in the expansion joints on the east side of the Schwada building. At Psychology North, bats roosted in the spaces between the cement facade panels and gutters on the north, east, and south side of the building. Bats have been recorded occupying Psychology North roosts September through May. In parking structure number two, the bats used expansion joints underneath the stairways usually at the third and fourth levels. Parking Structure 2 roosts were cocked in 2009 after one person complained that the bats chased her. The following season we observed an increase in the number of bats using the Psychology North Building located across the street from Parking Structure Number 2. At the Sun Devil Stadium a large colony of bats roosted in the expansion joint under the fourth level ramp underneath the west scoreboard. This stadium roost was cocked in July of 2010 and the bats moved on to different expansion joints elsewhere in the stadium. Bats have been recorded occupying stadium roosts from September through June. During the daytime hours, FACMAN Ground Services typically receives bat trouble calls concerning live bats trapped in buildings at the Goldwater Center building in the basement and on the fourth and fifth floor, the Carson Athletic Center on all six floors, the third floor of the Schwada building, and inside Saks and Gallery 100 at the Tempe Town Center. These trouble calls tend to increase during cool evening nights when people are more inclined to prop open campus building doors. Rescued bats that are sick or injured are taken by experienced Ground Services personnel to a licensed bat care facility. Ground Services has received numerous requests to exclude bats from ASU structures where bats are roosting too close to human activity. Many requests are to move bat colonies to another location away from the problem area on campus. Complaints include large number of bats flying too close to people at night, live bats trapped inside buildings, and guano at roost sites. The Bat Watch program would like to propose a solution to these problems by helping to relocate the unwanted bat colonies to a more suitable location on campus. We propose to design and test four artificial roost boxes with the dimensions and insulation values similar to concrete expansion joints and install these boxes at certain structures on campus. Dan Chenard of EF Block has agreed to donate the materials for four experimental bat boxes based on the standard solid 10 inch by 12 inch by 60 inch EF Block forms. He has also agreed to assist the Bat Watch students in fabricating the roost boxes at EF Block. EF Block is made from 87% recycled materials. ASU Recycling partners with EF Block and delivers all the campus EPS waste to this company, so in effect these bat roost boxes will be made from ASU's garbage. Proposed locations for the bat roost boxes are the roof of the Tempe Town Center and the Art Tower on University Drive east of Myrtle. The Tempe Town Center bats need to be excluded this summer since many bats drop down through the insulation and get trapped and die in Gallery 100 rooms. There's no ceiling boards at the west end of the building. Bat boxes can be mounted on the south side of the Tempe Town Center roof before the bats come back to roost this fall. The art tower on University Drive just east of Myrtle is completely empty and unused. There are windows that open at the top floor where bat baffles could be discreetly installed very similar to a barn or attic. On the tower's third floor there is a two foot by six foot louvered vent that could also be used as an opening for a bat roost. The main advantage of this site is the secure location away from human activity and the ease in monitoring the bats and harvesting the guano for campus gardens. By working with urban wildlife instead of against it, ASU can continue to receive a valuable pest control service 
a premium organic garden fertilizer, and a new use for its garbage. 